his ceremonial bow by Zero Gold and Marcus the King Smith. Referee for this opening contest of Irrefutable 2023, Ian Anderson. And David Perilli is up in the corner like he doesn't have a care in the world. And I'll respect that because you gotta start with the mind games early against any opponent with Marcus Asai Smith on the floor and any kind of advisement role. Zero gold. Looks confident. All right, we're off. Here's the lock up the collar and elbow. Good. This should be a good matchup or, or, or display of dominance here. It's about the same size. Gold may have a little height advantage, but then probably was in fact a nose guard at his weight, so you can obviously throw some weight around and push some people around. But that kind of looked like a stalemate. I think Zero Gold let loose early is to not be humiliated or in his culture, quote unquote, lose face. Zero Gold, Dayton Pirelli, collar and elbow again. I guess that first collar and elbow was kind of unfinished business, but look at that. Dayton establishes the dominance. I'm the alpha in that ring. And Zero tries to maintain his integrity by actually cowarding, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But hey, not a lot of what Marcus the Science Smith line of thinking, Marcus the King Smith's line of thinking makes sense to many of us, but it does work. Here we go. Third time, and Dayton's got to be in the head of Zero Gold. And as uh, Gold seems to start to get the upper hand, Dayton grabs the wrist lock. Arm ring, he's got hold of the wrist lock. Here comes Zero Gold before too much damage is done. And now we're going back and forth and we're trying to establish who's the alpha with the wrist lock. Dayton switches to a figure four, an arm bar if you like, making it even harder to get him off your arm. Oh! Reverse by Dayton. Nice arm drag, and he went deep on that one, and Zero Gold did in fact lose face and goes out to his sponsor. His sponsor? I guess I would call him his sponsor, Marcus the King Smith. Marcus whispering into the ear of Gold. Gold signifies that he understood. And Dayton Pirelli wisely giving Gold enough time and space to get back in the ring as to not rush in and make a mistake. Dayton looks more sure-footed out there tonight. And here we go, they lock up again. Let's see, apparently whatever Marcus whispered to Gold did not work, did not work. Okay, going back and forth and he's got a real firm grip on that wrist lock. But Dayton, Look at that, and that was cute, that was pretty, and I guess Marcus's uh, advice was falling on deaf ears. They did not figure on the equation of Dayton Proley having more tricks up his sleeve. That was pretty, pretty way to reverse the arm. A handful here, unbeknownst to the referee. He's keeping it from the referee. Picks Dayton up for the slam. Dayton holds on, follows through. It is definitely Dayton Perilli shining right now on zero gold. Zero gold's in trouble. People solidly behind Dayton. The only fan in this place that zero, a handful of hair, the ref caught him that time, calling for the break. Oh, a couple of stiff arms. Irish whip in. Tackle by Perilli. Perilli's getting quick out there. Goes behind on the body slam. Zero hangs on for the O'Connor roll. Up goes Dayton. Down goes Dayton. And a nice drop kicks and zero gold to the ropes. Not only has he got a referee's got to keep him back. That's why he cowered it, if you will, into the corner. 
Marcus the Science Smith goes, what we're doing is not working. I don't think Dayton's looked this, uh, I don't think he's looked this confident yet. He's really shining this evening against the man from Japan. Let me think, Osaka, he's from Osaka, the mean streets of Osaka. Five minutes gone in the match, five minutes expired. This time you see how Gold is taking his time in there as he's made some mistakes and good things come to those who wait as now he's got the wrist lock. Dayton reverses it again, reverses it again. And there's maximum pressure right now. Gold cannot make it to the ropes to break that hold. Dayton's dug in like a tick in the center of that ring. Couple of shots in the midsection. Fireman's carried by the, oh, come on! Well, that's one way to cut him off. Look at, he's even starting to look like Marcus the King Smith, yet he's wearing a mask out there. Certainly learning the American custom of gloating. If it comes to gloating or being braggadoche, I don't think there's a better teacher than Marcus Smith. And a cover, very weak cover. See what I mean about being braggadoche? The ego. Now look at that. Now he's just being cruel and he's rubbing his face, trying to map burn him on that canvas. Hurts, humiliating, it stings. Marcus the Science Smith, I'll tell you, zero gold could crap in a box. Marcus the Science Smith would stamp a guarantee on it. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to this. He is, yeah, there is rhyme and reason to this. I spoke too soon. That was a Marcus the Science, a Marcus the King Smith gets some cheap shots, some cheap heat on Dayton Perilli. These people are not happy about it. He rolls him away from the ropes, hooks the leg, one, two, and Dayton Perilli with a display of heart. Kicks out at two, two and change. Dayton with the, I mean, uh, zero with the handful of hair right in front of the ref. I mean, I guess technically he has till the count of five to release the hair. And now, see these Japanese, they got a great command of the nerves, the glands, you know, in the body. They know, you know, where to hit somebody in the duat in them, you know? The nerves that run between the ribs from the back to the front and that nerve hold in the shoulder, which I think that last knife edge was delivered to in an attempt to soften Dayton's trapezius up or tenderize it. Z likes to use that nerve hold, but not now. One, two, but a very cocky cover. You're not gonna beat him that way, not Dayton. Dayton fighting back. He's fighting back. He's laying those shots in. Fires him across. It's reversed. Dayton goes up and over. And look at this. He might sneak the win. Oh, Marcus would have been beside himself. Double axe handle stops Dayton right in his tracks. Marcus would have been beside himself if Dayton could have pulled it out right there. Look at that. Another nothing pretty about that, but effective. He rammed his face. Straight into that mat. Look, man, no hands. Now he's starting to be a little more uh, calculated. Irish whip. Sunset flip. He got it. One, two, oh. And Gold cuts him off before he can get to his feet. Pushes him outside the ring. Guess he's going to take a little break. Wait a minute, that was just a ruse. He's distracting the referee. And Marcus the King Smith. No, right on the floor. I heard the body hit. And the referee doesn't know what the hell is going on. Marcus the Science Smith. He might win by count out if the referee turns around. The referee doesn't know what hit him. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Dayton comes in though. Got a lot of heart. It was some sort of big bump on the floor. 
Big elbow to the sternum, another lackadaisical cover. Dayton's getting tougher out there. He's definitely getting tougher out there. That light bulb above his head for the wrestling industry is starting to flicker. And that is really frustrating. The ever-loving piss. Yes, I said it. Out of zero gold. And he picks Dayton up. Scoop slam right in the corner, right where he wants him. Zero going to the top. Doesn't speak the language, so he feels that he has to over accentuate to get his point across. I guess Marcus is going to try to translate while he's going up there, but a lot of time is passing. A lot of time is passing. Oh! And that's all it took one boot, one locking out of the knee. If Dayton was Ted and absorbed all that punishment, he probably could have won the match from that one. That was really smart thinking. Marcus the Science Smith is throwing a fit. He ducks Zero's clothesline and boom! He hammers him with one of his own. And here comes the schoolboy. He's going to steal it. No! That was close though. Zero goal to Cisek. Beautiful drop kick. Beautiful drop kick. And what's Dayton going to hit him with? Well placed monkey flip halfway across the ring. He kips up. That was pretty. And here's zero goal in the corner. He goes for the second monkey flip, and he just brushes him off. Unbelievable. What a comeback, though, by Dayton Pirelli, man. And look at the anger welling up in zero goal. He almost pinned him how many times? Ben Marcus the Science Smith is coming up with an apron here. He's got him back. Uh, Dayton Pirelli against these ropes behind me. He throws that in reverse. Oh, the ref's going to give him some easy. And he's got it with the counter roll. One, two, no, no. Oh. The winner of this matchup at 11 minutes and 52 seconds, zero gold.